<clears throat> oh, did we decide we should do the pre-chorus? Let's just do it for now and see how it feels. Are you talking to me or Oscar? No, Oscar's going to play with me. Should we just go straight in, though? There's a place. Yeah. So let's start with today. Yes. Where you're at today. Did you think you'd be here 10 years ago? We can, I come in and we can listen to it. I don't know if I like going back to the chorus. It kind of feels like overkill in the chorus because it's so simple. I kind of like just ending it into an instrumental. It's also shorter and just different. Okay. I've always had music in me that's like, it's not all worship music. A lot of it is not. And so I think I've had that idea in my mind of like, okay, if I did some kind of a project that was more just like heart songs and like more of a devotional style, which is kind of what this album is. Some of them I think will be sung in church and they're, some of them have that corporate feel, but it is more of that like devotional heart songs thing and that's what I mean like specifically about you kind of never know exactly what it's going to look like because I haven't seen a lot of that done like I haven't seen that kind of music put out very much and so I had a dream to do this and now it's happening and it looks like what it looks like I feel like I'm not making a lot of sense no but that makes does that kind of make sense yeah it's like okay here's a good way to put it I've literally been like grieving in a sense the fact that the project is done and about to be out in the world because and it's so, like it's it's lots of feelings it's not just grief I'm so excited and it feels so needed and it feels important and I feel like passionate about what's being said in these songs but it's also sad because it's like I've been holding magic what felt like magic and now I'm releasing this like idea into the world and it, does that kind of make sense? That is, I think that's a good way to put it. Like, it's no longer, I'm releasing it. It's no longer just mine to hold. Oh, mm -hmm. I feel emotional. <laughs> like, that's so much emotion.
just to honor you and bring you praise like a fragrance broken on the floor may my worship be pure Huh? Yeah, that felt really sweet. I only meant it that time, so that's the take. <laughs> I said I only meant it that time, so that's the take. It felt like like you. I don't know. No, I was emotional. Yeah, I felt it. I'm gonna start crying. I'm over here asking all these questions. I know. I know. So how are you? <laughs> that's my real strategy. <laughs> right? Get me deep in my feels so I'm not okay. Hey, Oscar, <laughs> what if at the so end... So how are you? Here. Here. What if no yeah, you played it? <laughs> how about... How about figure out how to play it now, you know? Oh, I didn't know that was an idea for this. At the end, just like, kind of drive it more? And then you could What like, if you played that? Would it work in between? Would it work in between um, the chorus leading to the bridge? No, maybe not. I don't know. Did I play? Uh... Yeah. I'm kind of sick of all these dramatic songs right now. Let's do a fun one. You guys want candy? Candy? You want some candy? You want some candy? You want some candy? That was really good. You said candy like perfectly like granddad. Candy? Some candy? Oscar. You said candy. Oh, Oscar, I'm feeling tired and silly. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Gabe is my husband. He is like the best person that I know. He's an insanely creative mind. Like he is ever creating no matter what he's doing. He plays bass, but he produces, like, his mind is, like, a producer mind. He also plays lots of other instruments. But it has been so special. It, it is so special having him, like, be in the role that he's in in this album because it's felt very much like I almost don't even have to explain myself sometimes because he already knows what I'm going to say. Oscar is my brother-in-law. Both of them, both Gabe and Oscar, I've been creating with for almost a decade, over a decade, starting in the prayer room. And Oscar is another person that I trust implicitly with anything music related, writing, producing. Like I can bring any idea to Oscar and I trust that whatever he, whatever input he gives into the idea is gonna feel true to what I was trying to say or do. Um, so it's been really special. Even just that having like family, like it's been literal family in the creating of this album. And that's been so special. And then Blake, he is just like, it's so cool doing this with him because we've wanted to do something together for years. And so it's kind of been this like ongoing conversation. Like every time we see each other, each other over the last few years being like we should do something together and so when we were talking about who we would want to be a part of this project I was like we should have Blake like that would be so cool and it would also bring like a fresh perspective a fresh mind and a fresh voice different from me Gabe and Oscar since we do do so much together it was cool having kind of an outside voice he became very much of like an internal like he became family, like I said earlier, but at the same time, he has kind of this outside, broader perspective than our own. It sounds so cool. We played it. She's insane. Insane. She's, she's amazing. Too Good has like the most, like, elements. Paula plays guitar. It was actually the guitar, it was the demo guitar that she like played guitar on the demo and we just took that and put it on the album because it just felt, 
that was another thing of like back to the pure concept, like keeping as much as we could the same as the original idea. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. I'm just gonna read this to you. So I basically just said, she, she was like, I'm thinking about you. She didn't even know we were in the studio. She texted me this last Friday. And she was like, when are you recording, yada, yada. And I just told her like, it's been so, like so nice. We've been recording, we're almost done in the studio. I said, it's been hard. Lots of inner stuff that's been just messy and a lot. It's been wildly beautiful and the album shape, but it's been wildly beautiful and the album shaping into a, such a stunning piece of art. And she basically was like, I get it. She was like, every risk you have taken is going to be felt and worth it. I know what you mean about the hard, messy stuff, but people will hear how you leaned into Jesus and it will be their breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I know you get it. Good. Yeah. I like that one line she said that people will basically hear how you handled it. Yeah. 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 We literally only have one more song to produce after this. It literally just looks like my journal. <laughs> and like we're just getting it all dialed and then we zip it and send it. I think about the times when I've been at my lowest spots. And I, those are usually the times that I, like in my history of my life, my history with God, the times when I have felt closest to Him and the times when I have actually like learned the most about myself, about life, about the Lord. And even like how I act now and like whatever goodness has come out of my life, it's usually from those places and it's from the understanding that I gained within that. And so I don't know, it's just like, I think there's something to be said about sitting in it. The chorus says, even through the dark, even in the dark, I wanna be where you are. Like finding God inside of it, not past it or like not, um, not like how this is gonna be redeemed one day, but finding him inside of it.